So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. I'm bored. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, Joseph, should I roast Cody to oblivion? Oh, yeah, dude, do it. Roast his ass. Oh, come on, guys. We don't have to. Uh, 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 um. Wearing a checkerboard shirt, head ass. Ooh, flame his ass, dude. Okay. Wearing glasses, head ass. Ooh, he hold it back today. <laughs> Yeah. Wearing a bow tie head ass. Oh, savage, savage. Wait, these aren't even insults. You're just saying what I'm wearing and then saying head ass. Coming from a mop head ass. Oh, put him in a casket. Okay, Cody, you gotta do Junior. <laughs> okay. No, no, like you gotta roast me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not really good at this. Um, beady little eyes like a bird head ass. Oh, oh okay. no, he just got lucky. He got lucky. All right. Oh, okay. Um, uh, a weird little island of hair head ass. Oh, oh you talking about your hair now? Oh, okay, chill out, chill, chill, chill out, chill out, chill out, you're going too far. Um, where's a bib like a baby head ass? Oh, he's calling you a baby! Oh, 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 no, no, we're not doing that, you're, you're too far, you better apologize. Okay, all right, going in for the kill, I guess. Um, Ron Weasley Ginger from Harry Potter looking head ass. Oh, Take that back! Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Yeah, guys, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's not fun. It's not, it's... Oh, okay, so when you're roasting me, it's fun, but when I'm doing it to you, you don't like it? No, no, no I, just, I, don't want to, I don't want to do it. It hurt my feelings. Let's watch TV. I just want everyone to know that the Haitians in Springfield, Ohio, are eating the cats and dogs. They're like, mmm, yummy. The yummiest that they've ever tasted. I've personally never tasted it, but they're saying yummy every time they eat your cat and dog. Wait, are they really eating cats and dogs in Ohio? No, Junior. Then why would he say that on TV? I don't know. You know everything on TV is supposed to be true. I know that's the rule, but he broke it. Well, our teacher eats cats and dogs. It's true! The best cat and dogs in Springfield, Ohio! Is he Haitian, though? No, he's only Asian. Mm. So, guys, if you were old enough, who would you vote for for president? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'd probably vote for Kamala. What? Not Trump! He got shot in the ear! Yeah, that shit was cool and all, but uh, Kamala's a safe bet. No, all the coolest presidents have gotten shot. Like, John F. Kennedy, shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Abraham Lincoln, shot. True, true. James Garfield. <gasps> the cat? No! He died? Well, no, the president. What, Garfield was a president? What? what? No, James Garfield, the president in the 1800s. His first name was James? What? I didn't know Garfield. I thought Garfield's name was just Garfield. I thought he, was, he liked lasagna. No, not, not the cartoon cat. There was a guy named James Garfield. What? I, I, there was actually like a human being named Garfield. Yeah, yeah, that was his name. See, all the presidents are cool. Even, look, that, that guy's that president was named after the cartoon. No way. Well, he wasn't you. named after the cartoon. He came first, and he wasn't voiced by Chris Pratt. Okay, they didn't just come up with the name Garfield. He, the cartoon came out first, and his dad named him after that. No, I, I, if anything, the cat was named after the president. Listen, all the coolest presidents have got shot in the head, and they all have done cool stuff. Like, John F. Kennedy sent us to the moon, mm -hmm. and Abraham Lincoln, he, he never lied. Yeah, that's true. No, yeah. I mean, it, it, George Washington didn't lie either. See, what, what, did he get shot? Oh, no, he didn't get shot. Well, still, Abraham Lincoln's a pretty cool president. And look, he's on two pieces of money. He's on a $5 bill and a penny. Yeah, he freed the slaves, dude. <gasps> I got a theory on that. A theory? Yeah, so what if Abraham Lincoln didn't mean to free the slaves, he meant to set their price tag to free, so like you could just have one. I beg your pardon? No, no, don't get mad, don't, get, don't, don't cancel us. Like, listen, let, think about it. What if Abraham Lincoln, when he said, I'm going to free the slaves, he meant that everyone could have one for free? Hmm. No, no, I think he meant to free them. It was literally called the Emancipation Proclamation. I don't know what that word means. Well, emancipation means to free. Yeah, to set free, so maybe he meant to set the price to free. No, 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 it means like freed, like to liberate. Well, have you ever asked him? Well, no, because he's dead. Okay, well, if he wasn't dead, we could say, hey, what did you mean? Because I think maybe he meant to set the price to free. People got confused, they set them free, and he goes, well, that was pretty cool of me. That made me look really good, so I'm just going to stick with that. I get it. It's a fair argument. Yeah. No, no, I don't think so. But, I mean, I do have a time machine if you want to go back in time and ask him. <gasps> Well, yeah, let's go back in time and ask Abraham Lincoln what he meant when he set the slaves free. Okay, I'll get my time machine. Yeah. All right, guys, this is my new portable time machine. Portable? Yeah, I got tired of hauling the other one around. It was just too clunky. So how does this one work? Well, you see, the problem with this one is you can only use it once a year because it uses the power of a black hole, and that takes about a year to charge. So you can only go somewhere and come back once, and then you have to wait till next year. That's kind of lame. Yeah. Well, who wants to go see Abraham Lincoln? I do, I do. Joseph, you want to go see Abraham Lincoln? Nah, dude, I think I'm going to chill here. What, you don't want to meet Abraham Lincoln? Nah, I don't think it's safe for me to go in that timeline. Uh, how is it not safe? I mean, it's Abraham Lincoln. Bro, black people were considered three-fifths a person. <gasps> they were that short? No, dude, no. Just leave without me. But you'll be the tallest black guy there. I guess so, but just leave without me. Okay, oh. guys, we all have to hold hands. What? I promise it's nothing gay. It's just you have to be holding on to anything that you're taking with you. Okay. Come on, Dan, you want to go see Abraham Lincoln? Of course you do. He's your favorite president. Okay, now I just have to say the date. April 15th, 1865. Kabow! Oh, I forgot to push the button.
Ugh, this play fucking sucks. Abraham. What? It does? I wanted to see Lion King. We'll see Lion King next time. We'll see Lion King next time. It's not like I have a country to run or anything. I need to get a picture of this. Send it to Andrew Johnson. He's not gonna believe this shit. Excuse me, sir, no flash photography. Oh, come on, what am I even gonna do with it? It's not like I'm gonna take a video and post it to YouTube. Hmm, YouTube. Mary, what if there was a website where you could post videos? What's a video? I don't know. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, please, call me Lincoln. Uh, Mr. Lincoln, <laughs> sorry to bother you. You know, I just wanted to thank you for freeing the slaves and all. Can I get your autograph real quick? Oh, yes, of course. And I'll do it for free. Oh, yeah, I heard it. He said a lie. That's my dog. Hey, hey, I'm going to vote for you. <laughs> like they can vote. Working on that. <laughs> you see that? Free the slaves. And you would think, since I did such a good thing, they would give me some better fucking seats than having to sit way the hell up here where I can't see anything. I want to sit front row. I want to sit where that gentleman is sitting. Is he the president? Oh, no, he's not, because I'm the president. I can't even see. Everybody looks like ants down here. Abraham, behave yourself. We're getting front row for Lion King. I want to see the stilts on the giraffes. Fine. Uh, excuse me, can I get you to any concessions? Oh, yes. I would like some gummy bears, a Three Musketeers bar, and some buttered popcorn. Abraham, you're on a diet. Oh yes, I forgot. No gummy bears, no Three Musketeers bar, and shoot me in the fucking head. Abraham! Okay, extra butter for the popcorn. I gotcha. Ugh, oh, I'm so fucking bored. I'm gonna listen to my records. Did you bring my AirPods? I don't know what those are. Neither do I. Oh, Abraham, don't bring that out, please! It's so embarrassing! Well, I need something entertaining instead of how I met my cousin or whatever the fuck this is. Yes, that's my shit. That's my jam. Uh, Mr. Lincoln, the popcorn. Ugh, yes, marry the popcorn. Thank you. You're welcome. If there's anything else, you know, just let me know. <laughs> are you okay? Ugh, what, are you trying to kill me? What is your name? My name is John Wilkes Booth, sir. Well, John sucks, Poop. This popcorn is butterless and stale. I specifically requested buttered popcorn. I'm sorry, sir. Well, fix it. Yes, sir. I hate it here. Abraham, you talk too much. Yeah, well, you know where they didn't say that? At the Gettysburg Address, oh. where I spoke for a very long time. People love that shit. Four score and seven years ago. Mr. Lincoln, your buttered popcorn. Mm, thank you. Jacob? Yes, sir. What is that? Is that a hair? Yes, sir. Really? And do you think that the President of the United States, who freed the slaves and ended the Civil War, should have to eat hairy popcorn? No, sir. Then fix it! Oh, my word. Oh, it is hot in here. Ugh, Abraham, you shaved your head! Well, I had lice. We don't have a cure for that yet. Here's your popcorn with no hair. Now, wait a minute. Is this the same popcorn that touched the hair? Yes, sir. So you just took the hair away and you didn't replace the popcorn? Yes, sir. Oh, good. Hey, everybody who's richer than the president and gets better seats, enjoy my popcorn. Don't worry, hair touched it. Now you listen here, Jacob. I will have your job. I will have you fired. I would rather be shot in the head than have to watch this boring fucking play and deal with your terrible service. Get out of my sight. Abraham, get up. Oh, ha ha, very funny. The play's that boring, you fell asleep. Get up! Oh, I'm out of here. Wait, where's Abraham Lincoln? Oh, damn it, Junior, we're too late. He already got shot. What? You said you got the time right. Well, I didn't know the exact time. Oh, uh, so what do we do now? I guess now we just go back to our time. Well, well we're not going to be able to do anything fun that we said we were going to do. I know, but we don't want to mess anything up here. We should just go back. <sighs> okay. Okay, hold my hand. Oh, Abraham, I don't want to fight. Let's just go home. Oh, Abraham, you've gotten smaller. You were so tall anyway. Wow, Cody, I can't believe you took us back in time after Abraham Lincoln got shot. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to wait till next year. And get the time right next time. Wait, where's Ken? I don't know. Aw, oh, damn it. What? I left Ken on Abraham Lincoln's dead body. You did? Yeah, now we're gonna have to wait till next year to get him back. You don't seem too upset about having to wait a year. Well, it's fine. I know I'm gonna get him back. I just have to wait a little while. And honestly, that's fine. I was thinking about downloading Grinder and seeing what those glory holes are all about. Wait a minute, Cody. You left Ken on Abraham Lincoln's dead body. What do you think that did to history? I don't know. <gasps> Whoa, look! Look at the $5 bill! 
Wait, is that Ken? Why is Ken on a $5 bill? Oh my god. They must have gotten Ken confused with Abraham Lincoln. How does that even happen? They look nothing alike. Yeah, and Abraham Lincoln's body was right there. Hold on, let me check Wikipedia. That's so crazy. Oh my god, Junior, look, this is Abraham Lincoln now. Whoa, Ken is Abraham Lincoln. And look, he finished his term. Yeah, because he didn't get assassinated. That's so crazy. Joseph, what do you think about Ken being the president? Oh my god, Joseph's three-fifth a person! Oh my god, Ken brought back slavery! What's up, dude? Ah! What, I was in the bathroom, I had to pee. Look, oh, I found a finger toy. Isn't it cool? I thought you were three-fifths a person still. Come on, dude, Abe Lincoln fixed that. Oh, what do you think about Ken being Abraham Lincoln? Who? Cody's boyfriend, Ken, he's Abraham Lincoln. Cody don't know the president, dude, stop lying. To Junior, Junior, he doesn't know because we changed history. To him, this is Abraham Lincoln. Oh, when did Abraham Lincoln die? He never died, he's over 200 years old, duh. Oh, because he's a doll, he can't die. No, he's not a doll, he's just the president. Yeah, Wait, he's busy giving Gettysburg speeches and stuff. It's always lame. He's like mute, so I don't know how that works. Oh, he can't talk because he's a doll. He's not a doll, Junior. He's I the president. I still can't believe Ken is the president. Who? Oh, Abraham Lincoln. Ah. <laughs> Junior, we have to go get him. What? We can't go get him. He's a former president. He's probably covered in Secret Service agents. Yeah, but I want him back. Oh, well, I mean, we could try to get him back. Yeah, let's go get him. Let's go. Okay. Okay, Cody, look, there's Ken. And look, there's the real Abraham Lincoln's dead body. Why has no one noticed it? I don't know. All right, so I'm going to distract that Secret Service agent and you grab Ken. Okay. Uh, hey there. Hey, what are you doing near the presidential booth? Uh, Abraham Lincoln's my favorite president, so I wanted to meet him. Well, you can meet him from back there. Just don't come any closer. The president's very old. Uh, okay, well, why are you guys still at the Ford Theater? Well, we're watching the president's favorite play, the Lankin. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. There's a sniper outside trying to shoot him. What? Where? Hey, get back here with that gun. Well, that was easy. Wait, let's go, let's go. Oh, there was no shooter, dumb kids. <gasps> Where is the president? Oh, no, the president's been kidnapped. We got a 2319. We got a 2319. Uh, well, we got Ken back. No way, dude. Abraham Lincoln's here? Cody, you really know Abe Lincoln? Wait, wait, real quick. Thank you for freeing the slaves. You cool as hell for that. You my favorite president, for real, for real. Well, actually, Abe Lincoln's gonna live here for a while. What? Here? Oh, that's cool as hell. That's like the White House. That's fancy, dude. Yeah, you, you just have to make sure nobody knows he's here. Yeah, it's a secret. Can't tell anyone. What? No way, dude. I gotta tell everybody. No, Abraham Lincoln likes his privacy. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, so just don't tell anyone, okay? I guess so. Wait, what's that, Abraham Lincoln? Oh, you want us all to leave? Okay, guys, let's leave. Yay. All right, I think Joseph is gonna be gone for a little bit. So we just, in a year, you better fix this. Okay, we will. Yeah, because now Joseph's gonna think he's Abraham Lincoln every time. Yeah. Yeah, so. <gasps> the news! Breaking news, okay? Abraham Lincoln has been kidnapped. If you've seen the president, please call 911 immediately. Well, I can't leave the house with Ken for a year now. Yeah, because then the Secret Service will arrest you. Right. Well, I'm gonna go clap some presidential cheeks.